Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. Over here, just landed in Oahu and getting pretty excited for Molokai to Oahu. Uh, I realised I missed Thursday Thoughts last week and I was getting ready for Paddle Mill, doing a bunch of testing, juggling a bit of family stuff, so I do have a marriage in Molokai, uh, sorry, Paddle Mill race debrief to upload and that I can use as uh, a bit of an apology <laughs> for not doing the Thursday Thoughts last week. First time missing ages um, for the week anyway. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I'm literally staying in Waikiki. Uh, got hooked up with the twin fin, thanks to a mate for sorting that out. Uh, the mayor of Honolulu, he knows, the mayor of Waikiki, he knows who he is. Um, but yeah, so Molokai Tawai is coming up. So many things to think about, um, fall choices, conditions, logistics to get over there. Um, got stitched up on the flight over here with, with bags and having to reshuffle stuff and everything arrived here safe and sound. But, just makes it hard when your 30 kilo limit is international and then it's like 20 kilos into Ireland. Um, <laughs> add in baby seats and prams and it was an experience. Um, but yeah, Thursday thoughts. What have I been thinking about this week? I've been doing a few Palale runs, which has been super good, just trying to get out in bigger bumps. Um, big news, sounds like Kyle Lenny is using some of the access gear. Uh, I'm taking it as a compliment because I helped develop that stuff. Um, with Adrian and Kevin, who did a great job based on the feedback I gave them. Um, Edo smashed Padlamua, he got the unofficial win. I got the official win because Edo didn't register. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of people rocking out for Molokai Tawahu, a lot of people who didn't do the last few races are coming, but there was a bit of a top five, top four group. Um, myself, Kai, Edo and Andrew, and missing Kane at Padlamua, but that seemed to be the top group. And then Oscar was right there as well, um, Tom Constant. Um, sure, I'm missing someone else. Jeffrey Spencer had a good result at Padlamua. Um, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how everyone goes um, this weekend. I'm excited, we're all gonna learn something. Um, I think the fastest across the channel may not be the fastest to the finish line. Um, I love everyone saying it's gonna be a paddle. Um, are people going to use smaller fast foils just to get across and take the paddle on? People are going to use bigger foils, lose a bit of the channel, and pump close to the finish? We're going to find out after this weekend. It's pretty exciting. Uh, I can literally see Kogo Head from here, just looking over my shoulder, and that's where the finish line is. Um, I'm going to try to get out the channel this afternoon and do a run and just sort of understand how the finish is. I haven't seen the finish since I finished the race in 2019, so I'm going to get out and do that this afternoon and maybe do another one tomorrow morning um, before I fly out to Molokai. It's all happening. Lots of training, lots of uh, time and uh, I, I love the journey. Like a lot of people you know, build up to this but I love the journey to this. Um, but yeah, it's going to be exciting. A lot of crew lining up, lots of foilers, lots of wing crawlers and it's going to be a sick event. I want to try to do a podcast with Edo Tanis before I head off to try lining it up but I'm honestly running out of time. We might be able to do it over on a Molokai if he's uh, there on a sad day. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the Kyle Lenny case of catch up. If you haven't seen it, go watch it um, or listen to it. And yeah, it's been a, been a good month over here. It's all coming to an end. Um, family's been good. We're just actually going to go out behind me for a bit of a swim and maybe a surf with the young fella before I go for a little afternoon run. But um, yeah, thanks everyone for the support. A code falls. It's worth mentioning we've had an awesome. It's been a big week. Code falls. Got some massive results over in Hood River. Ben Tardry got third, and he was actually battling for first and second. Um, he actually he'd hate that I'd say this, but he reckons he probably could have won if he was a bit fitter. He said he was sort of saving himself because the, because he was scared of the flat water finish and pumping to the finish. Um, but he said whenever he pushed, he felt like he was faster than the other guys. So really cool to hear the falls working really well. Um, Marcus got top eighth, I think, and then Dan, our Mr. Blend, got like in around 25th, 26th, they're right in the middle of 50 competitors. Um, all on some new falls we can't talk too much about, but it's all coming pretty soon, um, definitely before the end of the year. Um, and then I won Paddle Mill, which was awesome. Um, falls are obviously working. We're still a small brand. There's literally four of us. Um, there's no investor. We're doing our best to get everything out. Um, like always is the case, <laughs> cash flow is an issue, but we're going to sort it out. 
um, and I hope you guys can get more Code Falls products soon. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My family, Kobe's just grabbing on my leg, so we better go to the beach. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. This is Thursday Thoughts, and one last week in Hawaii. Let's enjoy it. Whew, downwind month is coming to an end. Oh, before I go, cans. Tim and Craig absolutely smashed cans. Bugger all wind of like five knots, they did 50 k's and no wind essentially. Um, JB and Ben Herald also gave it a crack. Didn't make it. Um, basically said they paddled, there were no bumps. So basically huge kudos to Tim Fitzsimmons, Coach Casey Club member and Craig for uh, finishing the race. They both, uh, Craig beat the skis, uh, the, the outriggers, six man outriggers and, and Tim was just a couple minutes behind him. I think they would have been faster overall because they gave him a head start. But yeah, huge effort for those boys. Almost forgot, but I'm not forgetting. I want to do a podcast with you guys too because I think uh, that was a huge effort. Um, but yeah, that's it. Happy Thursday thoughts. <laughs> and I'll speak to you guys all later. You.